welcome to all of you this is lms uh, myself pramod patar from uh, government polytechnic bankapur now i am giving presentation about preparation of bar bending schedule and fabrication of reinforcement for a uh, w reinforcement reinforced beam this is session 2 of experiment number 7 uh, of construction practice lab so already i have given uh, one experiment session 1 and this is uh, another set of experiment in the W reinforcement beam. So aim of the experiment, as you know, it is calculate the quantity of steel required for a given W reinforced beam and fabrication of reinforcement. The tools required are uh, bar bending table, bar bending lever, chisel, hammer, uh, steel and binding wire. So these are the tools required, materials required. Then the, what is uh, uh, the aim of providing a W reinforcement beam? So W reinforcement beam is provided when the dimension of the beam is limited for architectural or space consideration, availability of headroom is restricted, loads are eccentric, uh, the beam is subjected to accidental or sudden lateral loads. The beam is continuous beam. So in this condition, we just provide W reinforcement, W reinforced beam. Then uh, the W reinforcement beam details data is given. Clear data, clear span of the beam, 4,500 mm. Width of, width of support, 300 mm. Size of the beam, 300 to 500 mm. Tensor reinforcement, two bars of 16 mm dia and two bars of 16 mm dia bent up bar that is curtail bar, curtail bar are, are, you know, bars are given. Then compressive reinforcement, uh, two bars of 16 mm dia and one bar of 16 mm dia of bent up bar that is curtail bar is given. Then shear reinforcement about, uh, about two legged uh, eight diameter of bars or at 260 mm at mid span and uh, two legged vertical stirrups at 8 mm at 150 mm for at supports. So, this is about data given. According to that, we have to design uh, the length of the bars. Uh, the W reinforced uh, beam cross section, longitudinal section is given. Uh, here you can see the compression bars and uh, tensile bars and uh, clear span, effective span, we can see and uh, bearing uh, of uh, 300 mm or uh, it is 150 and depth of the bar width of the depth of the bar we can see 500 and uh, here in the cross section at a and a b b in this longitudinal section we can see the um, cross section at a a uh, and cross section at b b you can here we can see the depth and breadth of the beam so this is about uh, the given beam uh, given beam data and uh, uh, their uh, their drawings and dimensions. So according to that, we should uh, make the calculation for the reinforcement uh, for bending the bars. Uh, calculation for the length of the length of bottom and top bars, main bars. So it is given by the formula: uh, two into uh, clear span plus two into bearing minus two into cover. Uh, it work out to be four thousand five hundred plus two into three hundred minus two into 2.25 it is 5050 5050 mm that is 5.05 meter then uh, currently uh, similar uh, similarly we can calculate length of curtailment bar that is bent up bar uh, it is given by the formula clear, clear span minus 2 into 0 0.08 into effective span plus 2 into 6 into diameter of bar it is 4500 into 2 into 0 0.08 into 4800 plus 2 into 6 into 16 it is equal to uh, 3924 mm that is 3.92 mm meter 3.92 meter then length of stirrups 2 into breadth minus 2 into cover plus 2 into depth minus 2 into clear cover plus 2 into 6 into diameter of stirrup bar so then length of the stirrup for, uh, for shear force we can easily calculate 2 into uh, 300 that is breadth minus 2 into 25 clear cover plus 2 into 500 depth minus 2 into 25 clear cover plus 2 into 6 into diameter of the stirrup or 8 mm 
uh, it works out to be works out to be 1496 mm then number of stirrups uh, how we calculate the number of stirrups and that is clear span minus 2 into 50 uh, divided by 3 is equal to uh, the you should substitute the clear span 4500 minus 2 into 50 uh, divided by 3 uh, is equal to 1,466 uh, 1, 1, millimeter. So this is about uh, uh, number of stirrups. The total number of stirrups along the longitudinal section along the length of the beam uh, it is 24 numbers. So this is how you calculated all uh, the length of top or bottom bars, length of the cattail bars, stirrups, and number of stirrups. Then these are the shapes of the uh, main bars and cartel bars, and A is the A is the length of the main bar, B cartel bar, and C is the length of uh, stirrup. So this is how we calculated in the using the formula. So this table gives uh, next one the bar bending schedule. This is very important for uh, civil engineers to know the length of bars and total quantity of steel required in kgs. So uh, first one you, can, you see bottom and top bar for four there are four numbers uh, here length for 5.05 .05 and total uh, and, uh, uh, dia 16 mm and uh, length uh, there are four numbers and uh, the total length would be 20.20 so curtail bar also 16 mm dia and uh, there are three numbers the total length of the bar is 11.77 then stirrups 26 numbers and uh, length 1.496 you have calculated and total length uh, will be 38.90 so this is how we calculated then so we can we add the uh, those two number lengths uh, for 32 and 32 for uh, 16 mm bar and uh, uh, 38.90 for 8 mm bar so if you if you if you multiply by weight per k meter using this formula d square by 162 uh, 0.39 it is total weight in kg for uh, that bars are 15 0.17 and here 15.16 here 32 into 1.58 50.516 then uh, grand total steel required uh, add those two 15.17 plus 50.516 the grand total steel required is 65.69 kgs so here we can easily calculate uh, the uh, steel required in kg directly the total quantity of steel required for the fabrication of joint double reinforcement beam is 65.69 kg. This is how we calculate the uh, steel required for the given beam. So then procedure, we can see procedure how to cut the bar and how to place the bar in the for the bar bending fabrication of uh, to uh, double reinforcement beam. So. As per drawing, uh, measure the cutting length and uh, um, uh, cutting length of the top and bottom bars of a given diameter and cut them into size. As per the given drawing and put it there, other than now, top and bottom bars the cut body, then uh, diameter uh, cut them into size. Uh, then cut cut bars cut bars for a calculated length in the given schedule of our stirrups using the bar bending table. Make the ring with the required hook. So uh, the stirrups uh, using bar bending table we, we make the stirrups and then required hook should be provided. Place the top of top and uh, bottom bars over the chairs and mark the position of stirrups as per given spacing. So uh, they have given the spacing at the center 150, 260 mm and at the spacing 150 at the uh, um, supports 150 mm like that. Uh, place the top and bottom bars over the chairs and mark the position of the stirrups as per given spacing. Then arrange the required number of rings such that alternate hooks on the same edge and insert them into bars. So arrange the required number of rings such that the alternate hooks is on the same edge and insert them into bars. And so this is very important. Then uh, continue for uh, procedure. Then fifth one, 
Uh, tie the stirrups and uh, at the uh, marking with bending wire using hook and top on uh, uh, top and bottom bars. Next, tie the stirrups with the binding wire. Binding wire the uh, top and bottom bars are sorry. I now through back. That is now using hook. Now that is through correct. I fix more. Tie the stirrups at marking with at the marking with the binding wire. Then care should be taken. Uh, while tying the rings, they should be tied firmly and vertically. The rings na correct agi vertically irbe ko, uh, slant agi irbe ko, uh, slide agi irbe ko, straight agi irbe ko. They should be tied firmly and vertically. So this is about uh, uh, brief procedure about bar bending and fabrication for double reinforcement. Thing. So this is how we calculate it uh, for different diameters of bars into cut into size. This are, these are some references I have referred and uh, we go to MCQ sections. So in doubly reinforced zone, in the doubly reinforced zone, uh, the MCQs, in doubly reinforced beam, the main reinforcement is provided in tensile zone compressive zone both tensile and compressive zone and neutral zone the right answer for the first question is c the right answer is c both tensile and compressive zone we provide the w reinforcement beam then w reinforced beam is provided uh, when the headroom allowance is restricted during the architectural consideration application of accidental loads all of the above the right answer for this w reinforcement beam uh, provided when to A. The right answer is A. Headroom allowance is restricted. We go for a doubly reinforced beam. Then third one, uh, for the purpose of purpose of preparation of uh, bar bending schedule to determine quantity of steel, length of bars, number of bars, all the above. The answer is D, all the above. The, for the third question, so answer is D. Then crank length in a cranked bar or bent up bar is 45 degree is 40, 0.42 h, 0.52 h, 0.8 h, 0.32 h. The right answer for fourth question is A. A is the right answer. 0.42 h is the right answer. Then fifth one. Shear reinforcement is provided in the form of vertical bars, inclined bars, combination of vertical and inclined bars any one of the above. The right answer for a five question, fifth question is D. Uh, D is the right answer. Any one of the above. Uh, then as per IS456, the minimum nominal cover specified for a beam is 25 mm, 40 mm, 50 mm, 75 mm. The right answer is A, that is uh, 25 mm. Next seventh one, what is the deduction uh, provided for 90 degree? Bend, bend in the reinforcement 4D, 2D, 3D and 1D. The right answer for 7th one is B that is 6, uh, 2D. Uh, next 8 hook length for uh, of 150 degree bent up stirrup is uh, 8D, uh, 6D, uh, 12D and 9D. The right answer for 8th one is C. C is the right one, 12D, hook length of 150 degree bent up stirrup is uh, 12D. Next, ninth one, hook is provided in stirrups to prevent slippage from the concrete to keep the longitudinal bars in position, prevent the concrete from splitting onward, outward. If the, uh, the right answer for ninth one is um, D, ninth one is D, all the above. So, hook is provided to uh, still have recorded in steps to prevent the slippage, keep, keep longitudinal bars in position, prevent concrete from splitting outward. So, if the diameter of the bar uh, is 10 mm, then weight of the bar per meter is 1.58 kg per meter, 0.89 kg per meter, 0.62 kg per meter, 2.47 kg per meter. The right answer for 10th uh, one is 10th uh, one is C that is uh, 2.4.62 uh, kg per meter d square by 162 you apply now 0.62 will come 0.62 so this is
root mc sum mcqs these are the mcq answers and uh, thank you these are our uh, moderator name is subject expert names and can followed by six content developers thank you thank you one and all